Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Wednesday, May the 30th, 2018. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning, we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses. We do create multiple hypotheses. Nobody's going to be able to tell you what the market's going to do. Therefore, we create a plan, a hypo, a scenario, uh, for whoever takes control of the market. And we wait for the market to open up, show its hand, and then execute the plan that best suits what the market is doing. We also create two alternative hypotheses in order to uh, take into account uh, expansion or trend type scenarios. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking it out, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website, there's no blog, this is not a commercial venture. We do everything live here in the go-to, and we do live trading and analysis during the course of the uh, regular trading hours. Um, please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of the future results in any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your tra own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. All right, let's go right to the news. We just had uh, ADP uh, out at uh, 8.15. It came out uh, a little less than expected. <clears throat> and then we had uh, GDP, and uh, uh, GDP came out at 2.2 uh, uh, versus 2.3. So it was a little bit of a miss. Uh, better on the uh, trade balance uh, in terms of... Uh, of movement, we really didn't get much. We got a little bit of a flutter down into the 2700 uh, Tesla Centennial number, and then they bounced uh, back up right now, trading at 2702.50. Um, in six minutes, we've got Red Book year over year and month over month. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got the Bank of, Can Bank of Canada rate statement and whether or not they're going to raise interest rates. Um, and then at 10:30, we've got Dallas Fed Services and Texas Services Sector Outlook. Um, 11.30, we've got, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, 2 o'clock, we've got Beige Book. So we've got a little bit more news, but uh, for the most part, it's going to be headline news and what's going on with uh, China, what's going on with North Korea, what's going on with Italy, uh, all kinds of headline news that uh, uh, can move this market today. Um, Let's take a look at uh, yesterday. I forgot to take a picture of yesterday's uh, trade levels uh, before I started doing my homework. I don't know what I was thinking. But uh, in terms of uh, oops. in terms of what we were expecting, our hypothesis was an open auction out of range, a push up into closing the half gap fell, uh, and then rotating and getting a move down towards that uh, 90, uh, 91.75 was our, uh, our immediate target. You can check the video from yesterday. And then we were looking for between 96 and 91 to find a base and start working our way up. Hypo 3, the gap and go, was the extension down to test the year open down here at the 75 and a quarter and then bounce up and close in around uh, the 93 area. So we got hypo one and then we transitioned to hypo uh, uh, hypo three. We didn't get as far down. I thought we might be able to get down to the 68, 69 and back into that overall balance um, uh, on hypo three. But, uh, you, you know, they, they definitely defended the year open and we bounced. Now, overnight, We've taken a lot of that move right back. So we're going to open with a gap below us, and we're going to uh, open uh, with the gap uh, above us. And uh, I'm more concerned with the gap above us and whether or not we close that out uh, today and tomorrow and continue the upward auction. Uh, but let's just take a step back. Uh, every day I like to start my day with a very basic uh very basic chart, and what I'm doing is I'm starting on the monthly. I use a 9 EMA, 20 SMA. I'm looking at where we are in the trend in terms of the time uh, uh, 
uh, period. And I want to make sure that I understand where we're violating or changing uh, 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 the trend in a bigger picture, and then I move my way down into uh, the intraday. Monthly, still very much an upward trend. Uh, we had 14 months of, uh, of one time framing up. Then in February, we violated the one time framing. It came down, but we have uh, not been able to close below the nine EMA, and uh, this trend is still very much intact. We don't even challenge the trend on the monthly until we get into the 2400s. So any dip like we had yesterday is nothing on the larger time frame. On the weekly, uh, it looked like we were going to get a rollover and a possible trend change. Excuse me for one second. Sorry about that. Um, it looked like we were going to roll over and get a possible trend change, but then they took it back. And what we've been doing is we've been consolidating in this uh, symmetrical triangle and compressing for the next move. Uh, but we, you know, yes, yesterday, so far this week, we've challenged below the 9 and the 20, but they've taken it right back. And we're just uh, trading in between the two right now. So we are seeing a little bit of weakness on the, uh, on the weekly. On the daily... Uh, you know, same thing. We're in this compression, this coiling. Uh, for the last 10 days, we've been in this uh, in this balance. It looked like they're going to uh, take us out of balance yesterday, and then so far we're coming right back up. We are below the 9 and 20. We've lost slope and separation, so we could see a possible uh, start of a downward trend on the smaller time frame. Looking at the four-hour. Looked like we were going to get this move down and a continuation, but right now they're challenging the nine from below and uh, above it, and we need to hold this uh, 2700 uh, and uh, you know get the continuation up towards the balance up at the 1820 area. And then just going to the 30 minute, you can see that we have started uh, you know an upward trend. We came on down and challenged it on the news. Right now, we're just sitting right on top of the 9 EMA. We've lost some slope and separation. So we're at, a, we're at a decision point. If we take a look at this in the bigger picture, in the structure of things, we had this big move up into new all-time highs, uh, which is unequalized still. We have an all-time high in the Globex of 2883 and a quarter. Uh, adjusted for the June contract, and then uh, our all-time high in the regular trading hours is 28.80 and a quarter. This is generally not left alone. Uh, historically, the RTH session will trade into an all-time high that was put into the Globex. I call it unequalized all-time highs. We tried to hold value in the uh, in the 2800s, uh, then the gap down, and uh, I started my profile, uh, my micro composite on the second the gap down day, and then we made a trip all the way down into a former balance area, price acceptance area, found, found buyers, rotated us, tried to break out twice, but they kept failing at the 2800, and then we came down, and since we've come back down, we've basically been chopping in this uh, large value area range that runs from the uh, 4175 area to the 2628. Um, it looked like we were going to break out, and they stalled. We did get the VPOC shift from the 68-69 area up to the uh, 18 uh, area. The balance that we've been in for the last 10, 11 days uh, is in line with that, and it looked like they were accepting price for the move up. And then, of course, yesterday we gapped down. Uh, we take a trip back down, uh, put in a... Uh, uh, low of the uh, week at 26.75, 26.75 and a quarter is the uh, full session uh, year open. So we came down, tested the year open, buyer stepped in and rotated us back. And right now we're trying to hang on to the uh, 2700s and uh, trading at 2701.75. Uh, you know, over underline is going to be this 270350 for a couple different reasons. Uh, I'll get into that uh, uh, in just a few minutes when I uh, when I talk about critical mass. 
Uh, but right now we're below balance with a gap above us, and then we're going to have the uh, the gap from yesterday's close at 26.91. There is also a TPO single uh, at 96. So in terms of the bigger picture numbers, uh, over underline 0350 to 04. Uh, above that, look for rotation up into the 1820 area and the close of this gap. Um, the key line above is going to be still up at that uh, 4175 area that takes us out of this value area and above a key micro composite and micro uh, uh, sorry a key composite and micro composite LVN and then I'd be looking for the continuation up into that 5657 area. Uh, if we do not get back above the 0350, look for the rotation down to the single from yesterday at 96 and uh, a gap close down here at the 2691.75, which was our target uh, for Hypo 1 yesterday. Uh, key line in the sand below uh, is going to remain the same as it was yesterday, 26.84 and a quarter. Below that, uh, you know, I don't think we'll find the same buyers down at 75. They'll have to come back down into the longer time frame balance, uh, you know, that. Uh, is this micro composite and where this micro composite VPOC shifted from is down here at the uh, 6869. So uh, we've got a double distribution on the bigger picture uh, and double distribution on the intermediate picture, and then we've fallen out of balance. So it's going to be very important today, this uh, 270350. To also take that into account, is we have a week open at 27.29, I'm sorry, month open. We have a month open at 26.46 and a quarter. Our daily full session 20 period average true range right now is running at 28.90. So if we have two sessions left to trade today and tomorrow, our monthly critical mass is right here at 27.04. What do I mean by that? Well, if we get above the 27.04 and hold into the afternoon, it becomes less likely that the sellers can uh, take this down below the open of the month, and we're going to end up with a positive month or a bullish month. And a lot of times in the last day or so of trading in the month, you'll see capitulation if the buyers or sellers can't get it above or below that open of the month. In this case, it'll be uh, below. So above 2704 becomes less probable uh, today. Tomorrow that will be adjusted to a, uh, to a single average true range. But right now, if we get above 2704 and hold into the afternoon, uh, I'd be very uh, cautious on trying to fade uh, the move uh, and probably drift up into the close today. In terms of the overnight inventory, uh, it's a it's about I'd say 60% to 70% net long. You know, we we opened and we tested down into the uh, 86. We don't have a terribly strong low from yesterday. Uh, you know, this was a this was a weak low here at the 2675 area, and our overnight low also isn't really strong. Uh, but we did get the VPOC shift up. Uh, most of the night it was down here in the 92 and a quarter area. It's now shifted twice up. So we are seeing uh, some action at the higher end of last night. But we've remained inside of yesterday's trading day. Uh, so we have an inside session. So it's not going to give us a terrible amount of information. Uh, but we're back in the 2700s, and that's why I'm saying the 2703-04 area uh, is going to be our key area. So I'm just going to adjust this, put this as our over underline. Below it, I'm looking for a break below the 2700, back to the TPO single. Just to uh, show you what I mean by that, if you go to market profile, which is... Uh, time price opportunity and you know uh, time at uh, at price. You can see that we have a single right here, and these are generally closed 
uh, within the next couple sessions. So that is, will remain a target as long as we uh, break below the 2700 or don't get above the 2703. Um, going to the overnight high low, the overnight low is uh, 2685. 75, okay, which is just above our key line in the sand, that uh, very important uh, CLVN. Um, the, with the average true range of 28.90, our upside daily ATR target is at 27.14. So above that, we kick into uh, our alternative trend type scenario and looking for a move up into the 18th but we'll get to that when we get into the hypos currently right now we could shift uh the overnight high it's also weak at 2707.75 but i'll put it in and if i have to make adjustments uh you know on the open i will do that and based on the uh average true range 2707.75 less the 28 90 our downside daily atr target is 2678.75 so just to put that in perspective is we have range capabilities still to get up into the 2714 or down back into this boxy area from the lower distribution from yesterday. Uh, the 94 is also going to be a, uh, a warning for us. If we get below the LVN, uh, then I'd be looking for that move down into closing the gap at uh, the 91 and a move down into the naked VPOC of the 2688, most likely at that point, uh, come down and test this uh, 80. 8575 uh, level. So in terms of hypotheses, well, we've made a big move up and we've taken it back. So we are seeing buying stepping in and defending that year open. So my main hypothesis is going to be an open auction in range, outside of value, a move down into the 96 to 94, maybe a probe to close the gap. And, uh, and But somewhere between the 96 and the 88, I'm looking for, and I am going to use this as a trade level as well, which I don't usually do. Uh, trade levels are targets, but also areas where I'll execute. And I'm looking for buyers to step in and rotate us up and test this 13, 14 area. I don't know if we're going to get above it today, uh, but... Uh, I'm looking for some resistance here, and we're probably going to close somewhere in around the 2705 to 2709 area. That's hypo one. Hypo two is a open auction in range, outside of value, a push up, take out the overnight high, but fail to break out of the prior day range, uh, or a false breakout somewhere between the uh, uh, the nine and the 11 and a quarter, looking for sellers to step in, rotate us down into uh, testing the 2700, chopping down here, failing, pushing through, taking out the, uh, the single, and then pushing down into the balance from yesterday with a late day probe uh, coming down and breaking through the 75 and then basing down here at the 69 and closing somewhere up here in the 85 to 86 area. That is hypo two. Hypo three is going to be a gap and go, and that's going to be an open auction or an open test drive. Uh, failure to close the gap somewhere between the 96 and the 2700. We find our buyers, they take us up early into the 13, 14 area, test here, and then push up into the 2720 maybe a probe up into the 23, 25, the, uh, the gap up here, and then ultimately close somewhere down here in the 18 to 20 area. That is hypo three. Hypo four is a open auction in range out of value, failure to take out the overnight high, sellers take over early, take us right through uh, down into the uh, 88.50, fail, push through 
down into the 69 with a late day probe down into the 63, but closing somewhere back here in the longer time frame uh, balance. That is hypo four. So those are my four main hypotheses for uh, for ES. Going over to gold, I've rolled gold over to the August contract. That's the Q, uh, the GCQ, and you know uh, the composite VP, uh, VPOC, which was at the 1290.80, has shifted up to 1295.90, adjusted to the August contract. That's the most traded price going all the way back to the 2008, October the 24th. We're currently trading, uh, you know, above it. And uh, you can see the buyers kept on step, uh, stepping in. The current three-day balance, is uh, the VPOC at 13.0170. That's the line that you want them to hold and you want them to get up into this 09, which would have been the 06 level. We we're looking at uh, the, in the uh, June contract. And once we get above that, I'm looking for a push up into this 1819 area, which is the balance that we fell out of here. If we don't hold the 01, then I'd be looking for a move back into the 96 to 94 area and back into this balance. And then the key area we need to hold now on the downside is this 91 area. If we break below that, then uh, you know we're still looking for that move down into that 84, uh, 85 area that was adjusted up from the 79 to 80 area. So that's what I'm looking at in gold. Uh, that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.